There's a couple other things about rings. One is stability. Rings have various degrees of stability. Let me show you what I mean. Let me draw this. What's that called? Cyclopropane. <laughs> Each carbon has what hybridization? It's all single bonds. It's got to be sp3. They're single bonds. It's got to be sp3. What's the problem with that? What's the bond angle, ideal bond angle for sp3? 109.5. If you know math, what's the bond angle right there? 60. Close. Yeah. So you can see it varies a lot. So this has a lot of what's called bond strain. It has a lot of strain here because of this difference. So often uh, these rings uh, will buckle. So for example, let's say I drew a cyclobutane. It's sp3. It should be 109.5, but actually it's 90 degree bond angles. So this will kind of buckle like a bird uh, sort of look. Uh, let me see if I can, I'll try my best to draw it here. Oh gosh, like that. It kind of bend up a little bit just to relieve a little pressure of the bond strain. Uh, so, it's pretty common that your cycloalkanes will not be flat. They'll be kind of buckled, a little rumpled, uh, and, and not a flat structure. And that helps, I can help alleviate the strain. Yeah? Or no? Dr. E? Oh, there you are, yes. Did you, may, <laughs> did, you, did you mean strain or stain? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> They might be stained, but they're definitely strained. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. It, yeah, I was having trouble spelling. Sometimes I have to change my sentence to change the spelling. Like, <laughs> see you tomorrow, tomorrow, later. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's do something like that. Cyclic isomers. Cyclic isomers. Haven't done this for the chains yet. We will uh, soon. But uh, it's a little, can be a little simpler to look at for the uh, rings. This is a cyclopentane. This can have what's called an isomer. Or isomers from the transition metals. That means it has the same molecular formula, but a different connectivity. So this has how many carbons? Five, how many hydrogens? Ten. Let me draw another one for us. How many carbons does this have? Five. How many H's? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does anybody need me to count that again? No. Okay. So this is what's called an isomer. See how the formula is the same, but it looks different. This is cyclopentane. What's this called? One methyl cyclobutane. One methyl cyclobutane. Let's try another one. How many carbons? Five. How many hydrogens? Yeah, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten again. It's another isomer. What's the name of this one? Yeah. One, and you put a comma, one dash dimethyl cyclopropane. One, one dimethyl cyclopropane which could also be drawn like this. This would be not 1,1, one, one, but 1,2 one, dimethyl cyclopropane. Also C5H10. 
These are all what's called isomers. As we saw before, same molecular formula, but different connectivity. Uh, these are, I'll put this in parentheses, specifically called, I'll put it up here, structural. Structural isomers. Yeah, where are you? Yeah, there you go. They're, they're all isomers of each other, yeah. Uh, these are not resonance structures, because in this case I'm not moving all electrons, only I'm moving carbons as well. So here, I have two carbons on the top carbon. Here I have a carbon on the top one and the right one, the one on the right. So that car when atoms actually move, that's called an isomer. When only electrons move, that's called a resonance. Yes. Yes. The, yeah, maybe I'll write it out. The third one over is one comma one dimethyl cyclopropane. The fourth one would be one comma two. Same name. Question. Yeah. Would you have one group attached to a ring? Uh, when you have one group attached to a ring, do you have to put yeah, a number? No, not necessarily. No. Uh, so if you're talking about like this yeah. one, yeah, you could say methyl cyclobutane. So uh, the number is not necessary in that case. 